Hi, welcome to the madcenter.com. In this example, uh, by the way, this example involves uh, probability generating functions, and it is for the further maths syllabus, uh, CIE, Cambridge International Exams, the new syllabus starting in 2020. Uh, Subject code is 9231 and it's paper 4. So this example involves material that you cover for one of the topics that you cover in paper 4. Okay, 9231, further maths. CIE, new syllabus starting from 2020. So this is an example from uh, that material. Okay. And um, the question itself is an all exam question, June 2015, OCR, subject code 4735-01. Okay, it's question number four on that paper. Let's read the question. The discrete random variable y has probability generating function, PGF, okay, shortened to PGF. GY of t is 0.09t squared plus 0.24t cubed all the way up to 0.09t to the power of 6. So that's GY of t. You asked to find in part 1 the mean and variance of y. Now the rest of the question we will read when we are ready to deal with it. Yeah? So first off, let's go in and find the mean and the variance. What's the mean of y? That is the expected value of y. And that's given by the derivative of this function. And you plug in the value t equals to 1. Okay? The derivative of gy of t, okay, differentiate it, and you plug in t equals to 1. Then to find the variance of y, first off, we need to find this, which is... Okay, the expected value of y squared minus y, which is the second order derivative of this gy of t, and you plug in the value of 1. So once you find the expected value of y squared minus phi, excuse me, y, expected value of y squared minus y, then we can use the formula for variance, which is the expected value of y squared minus the expected value of y whole thing squared. Okay, now we have all the tools that we need to use to solve the problem. Let's go ahead and start. First off, we want to find the mean. So we need to differentiate gy of t. Differentiate it once. Uh, 0.09t squared, you will get 0.18t. Uh, 0.24t cubed, 24 times 3 is 72. So you get 0.72t squared. And 0.34 times 4 is 16. Carry 1.36t one. 1. cubed. You can easily differentiate that. And you'll get this line okay g y prime of t yeah differentiate this once plug in t equals to one plug in t equals to one use a calculator you'll get the expected value of y equals to four okay so and we are done with that part the mean of y is four and to find the variance like i said we need to First, go ahead and differentiate uh, this thing here is g prime t. Differentiate it one more time so that we can get the second order derivative. And that's here. Yeah? Okay, The second order derivative, g y double prime of t. Just differentiate this thing here. Differentiate it and you'll get this. Yeah, The second order derivative. Uh, 0.18 t, differentiate, you'll get 0 0.18. 0.72 t squared. 2 times 72 is 144, you'll get 1.44t and you can work out the rest. So plug in the value of 1, okay, plug in the value of 1, let me move it up. So plug in the value of 1, you will get, uh, use a calculator, you'll get 13.2, okay, plug in 1 here, right, where you see t, you plug in 1 and you will get this thing here, which is 13.2. And that will be equals to the expected value of y squared minus y. So we can write the expected value of y squared minus the expected value of y equals to 
So the expected value of y squared will be 13.2 plus uh, 4 which will be 17.2. Now in the second moments and the first moments you can work out the variance. So the variance of y is expected value of y squared minus the expected value of y whole thing squared and you will get 17.2 uh, minus 4 squared you will get 1.2 so the variance of y is 1.2 please like this video and share with as many friends as possible and please follow me on youtube